Happy Sunshine, family. Lunacy is back after, well, quite a break from this channel. Uh, I've been working on some other projects and published some other things. And right now, I'm just going to keep that separate from this channel, except to let you know that I'm learning video editing uh, with multiple streams of video. And uh, it's it's going to translate nicely to some projects over here. We are up very early today for me out on the Pacific Coast because today is the start of Heather Ann Tucci Giraffes and Randall Keith Bean's trial in Knoxville, Tennessee. I've been active uh, in some conversations, recorded conversations, over on Conscious Conversations Central. And I want to take you over to her page here, video list, and just show you uh, the talks that I was in. The first one I was in was uh, published three days ago, about an hour long, Consciousness Expansion from a Male Perspective. Uh, and then two days ago, I did two, about two hours worth of talks. We continued on... Uh, consciousness expansion and we talked about the roots of self-responsibility and then we took some of these topics a little bit further we talked about telepathy and just the new energies that are coming down during this time of ascension and and we talked a lot about consciousness expansion and the roots of self-responsibility through the window dressings of of what's going on in Knoxville, Tennessee, with the continuation of this trial, with the stance that Judge Shirley and Judge Varlin have taken as far as, uh, <laughs> as far as the labels that they're putting on to Heather's argument about the TDA accounts, and and I really even shouldn't even use the uh, the word argument because, wow, that just that just trips uh, legal clauses into place. Um, the interesting thing is that uh, Sheila Corona, whose channel this is, is in Knoxville today, along with BZ. BZ and Sheila regularly chat. Uh, and it looks like uh, the stage is set for me to get connected in with all of them live and hopefully we have some conversations today. Um, heading over to BZ's channel, uh, there were some talks that were posted last night that were just mind-blowing. This quantum playground, Hat J, POTUS, universal cleanup, and universal backdoor. Uh, <laughs> The, the documents that were filed, received by the court system, and entered into the electronic court system's filing, the PACER system, on January 22nd, so yesterday, uh, are just mind-blowing. Uh, I'm, still, I'm still shaking the, the effect out of my head. It... It discloses a lot of very clear details about the grander picture, grander scheme, uh, grander experience that Heather is part of, Heather and Randy. And uh, for the first time, we are seeing admissions and acknowledgments from Heather that this was this entire thing was a setup. Uh, her and Randy were bait. Uh, this was basically a secret operation to uh, lure out, entice, and identify who certain behind the scenes power people were. And, and it appears that this document that was filed yesterday names at least who some of those people are I, I i'm still blown away it, this this new presepe 
that was, I'll just call it the January 22nd price of pay. The January 22nd price of pay basically says that Heather and Randy were Trojan horses. They were made attractive to the dark forces uh, by, <laughs> by just making it known where and when they were in Washington, D.C., and why they were there, and or why she was there, and and that her being arrested was all part of the grander plan to uh, to to pull out some low vibrations by the roots, and I'm very interested to see what's going to happen today, and. We're just going to leave it at that for now. I'm definitely going to pull that document out. Um, but you can go over to BZ's. It was posted 10 hours ago. And she reads through it herself with Sheila Corona and Lisa. And and I can't remember who that other younger woman is that uh, is part of the party down there, too. Um, mind-blowing. Just mind-blowing, family. So we're going to be back with some more videos today, and I have no idea where things are going to stand at the end of today when, when the pieces shake out of this, but I am, uh, my heart is just overflowing with hope right now. So... To piggyback on the energetic frequency envelope that BZ started in her, what, the last video that she's posted, uh, I just want to ask Grace and the angels and all the ascended masters and guides and sprites and fairies and gnomes and any other high vibrational consciousness in the universe that is concerned or somehow interested to lend all your high vibrational energies to surround the light workers with divine protection, to surround those holding the lowest vibrations among us with safe space so that they can look into themselves, acknowledge these aspects that are crying for change and to have the courage to then decide differently. That's what the spiritual journey is all about. And I've got a lot to say about it. And you'll hear it in some videos coming up really soon. If you want to get a sneak peek into it, go check out the videos, the conversations that I did with Sheila Corona. I would really subscribe to both BZ Riger's channel, which there's 3.6 thousand subscribers there, and then Sheila Corona's channel, like 241 subscribers. <clears throat> this has got to be one of the best conduits for the cutting edge of the spiritual journey and where it intersects with truth-seeking and conspiracy theory. It, it's, it's right there. It's right on the point. All right. I love you guys a lot, and we'll be back really soon. Bye-bye.